Hey everybody and welcome back to TMC Natural Beauty aka the Mind Catchers channel and today I have a huge collective haul for you guys. Uh, I just decided to throw all of this stuff in one video. I think that's better and then I could put this stuff away and my husband can stop yelling at me about all these boxes sitting out in the living room. Okay, so we have some coach purses, we have some makeup items, we have some hair items, we have some electronics, we have some nail polish and hand um, items, So, and we have some clothing. So um, hopefully I can get this stuff out to you guys. If there were sales or anything like that, you could catch them just like I did, and we can roll with that, all right? So I also have timestamps down below so that you guys, anything you're not interested in, you just zip ahead. All right. So we're going to start off with electronics first because that's the stuff that I don't know too much about. So I'm going to zip through this really quickly. I went and got myself a Canvio Basics uh, portable st storage. This is for my computer so that I can put all of those different nail polish photos and um, family vlogs. And if you're not following my family vlog channel, you need to be. I'm going to leave the link down below. We go to Disney. We go out to eat, lunch, um, to the doctor. We, we just vlog everything, just a little bit of everything. So if you're interested in that, please check out my family channel. I really appreciate that. Also, before you go any further, please give this video a thumbs up for me being brave enough to come on here without any makeup on. No makeup, just a little bit of hot lips on my lips. That's it. Hot lips from Zoya. There it is right there. Just a lip gloss. That's all I have on. Okay, so back to this. This is Canvio Basics Portable Storage. Um, I don't know what two, uh, well, terabytes. I know TB is terabytes. It should be enough space for me to put lots and lots of video and pictures on. Um, and you have to, what do they call it when you, I know what to do. I just don't know how to explain it. That's why I don't have an electronics channel. But you basically are going to have to format. That's the word I'm looking for. You're going to have to format this for your MacBook. If you have a MacBook and stuff like that, you have to format it. That way you can put your pictures on, videos on, take them off, put them on your computer, on, off, whatever. Okay, so I have that. That's new. Also, I have a new microphone, so I should be sounding nice and crispy to you guys. Uh, this is the VXR10 Pro. And it is a cute little microphone. It does not take batteries. You just plug it right into the little mic slot on your um, your uh, camera and you're good to go. So I have a Canon uh, T7i. It's plugged into that and it works. So everything that I can find a link for, I will put it down below. This was easy enough for me, the person who doesn't even know what the name of this is, this was easy enough for me just to plug into my camera and keep going. I did not have to use my husband to help me do anything. I did this myself. Okay, so you can do it too. Moving on to makeup. Okay, so new from Urban Decay. It's right here. Come on, focus, focus, focus. I think it focused. This is the Urban Decay All Day Wear or um, All Nighter. This is their setting spray, but now they have it with vitamin C, cactus flower water. It says All Day Wear and Hydrating. So this is four fluid ounces. I'm going to open it up so you guys can see what it looks like inside. There it is right there. They sent this to me in PR. And of course, you guys know I am a huge fan of the All Nighter setting sprays. Huge fan of all of them because they have one that's like anti pollution. You spray it on your face and it's supposed to block out all the pollutions and everything that you go through every day with the wind and the rain and all that stuff. Then they have, I guess, um, the original. And I use that. And now they have this. They even have travel sizes. So I love it. Let me just spray this and see if it has a smell. Yes, it does. It has a smell. So it's kind of citrusy. It's a citrusy smell, not overbearing, not crazy, but it is a slight little um, scent to that. And um, I'm going to just read to you some of the things that they're saying about it. It says instantly hydrates and brightens because, you know, the vitamin C aspect is supposed to be like this brightener now. Uh, energizing, uplifting citrus scent smooths and firm skin up to 16 hour wear for your makeup 
that's to be determined transfer and water resistant and it's vegan and cruelty free so i cannot wait to put this to the test all right guys and the next thing that i received in pr is the l'oreal uh they're calling it the reds of worth color rich lipstick collection so there are lots of red lipsticks in here there are six elegant saturated wearable red hues so there should be a perfect red for me in this collection so i'll show you guys and i do have a little fingerprint on there but it's very pretty packaging and of course you know your fingerprints are going to be on there you have like that gold metallic type um packaging but very pretty but i will swatch these in a separate video or i might just do this in a reel on instagram and just swatch all of them so you should be following me on instagram as well so you guys can see so beautiful you know I, I am a sucker for lipstick out of all makeup items lipstick is my favorite so if you've been following me a while you know that so there are six of these and i will swatch every one of these in another video the next makeup item is from nars and i don't own any nars i think i may have one lipstick or one lip gloss or something like that from the past but I saw lots of people praising this. It didn't come out, you know, recently. This is a pretty old foundation. Not too, too old, but maybe like a year, a year and a half. But it is the Soft Matte Complete Foundation. I saw so many ladies saying how wonderful this was. It was kind of um, sheer and you can build it up, but it did give great coverage. And of course, it's matte for us oily girls out there. So I really wanted to give that a try. So let's open it up. I bought one at one point because I thought it may be a good match for me I was watching another um, beauty influencer here on YouTube she's called um, too much mouth and I feel like watching her videos even though my lighting is kind of bright right now I am a darker skinned lady so I felt like me and her were close in color so I bought um, deep two which is new caledonia and then when i just you know put it on my cheek in the bathroom that's the best lighting in the house right there in the bathroom mirror i realized i can go deeper or i may have to mix so i went back to the store and i got and these are not really cheap i think these are like 40 bucks a piece so i went back another time you know when my money was right and i got um iguacus i'll put it here in the video i got that one which is deep three so on the paper well on the packaging it says deep two for new caledonia and it says deep three which is like one step deeper for this one so i'm thinking if this one is too deep i'll mix and it should be perfect you guys know i have the pigmentation thing going neck sides of the cheek everything you know so i'm just trying to find a middle shade that will look nice all over i don't want too 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 much coverage like i said i'm here in south florida it's super hot i just want something that's going to cover up a few blemishes and you know just tighten up my look just a little bit look a little bit more polished going out and about so i'm going to give these a try if you would love to see me test these in a video please come back to the channel subscribe now i will be doing that this month this definitely in april i've been holding this stuff a long time so that wraps it up with the makeup items that i have here and we're gonna move on to nail polish because i think that's the next uh, least amount in PR I received the Orly impressions I think this is their spring collection if I'm not mistaken I've already swatched them and they're on my Instagram my nail polish Instagram I do have two Instagram accounts so I do have a nail Instagram account I'll have it right here in the video and I'll also link it down below so whenever I get a uh, PR I pump those out really quickly i put the swatches on there and then i usually come back over on youtube and do live swatches or either a video just showcasing the polishes so this one i already have the pictures up on instagram but i will be doing a full video on this and i'll also throw in two other collections by orly that recently came to me 
uh, this collection is a three piece collection in collaboration with Kwame and I'll spell out the name because I cannot pronounce that I don't even want to butcher that so I'm going to do that in a video this is the Orly Island Hopping Collection so super cute this also came to me in PR and y'all part my hands because one hand is swatched one hand is not uh, yeah I'm thugging it today I'm really thugging it today don't worry about it we're gonna get it together in the next video also in nail polish I have the new Zoya abundance collection and those are the shades right here on the packaging I have not had a chance to swatch these yet so this will be a video on its own as well of course you guys know I uh, separate the brands so I, I won't do brands together unless I'm talking about um, maybe my favorite reds or my favorite blues something like that if you'd like to see a video like that let me know down in the comment section but um those are there also I have uh, some polishes from London Town Lacquer so those came in PR as well and uh, they don't really have collections per se they usually have like trios so that's one beautiful shades and you can see it's still in the packaging I have not had a chance to uh, swatch these yet and there's a duo so all of these will be swatched very soon and placed on Instagram and then they will be making their way over to YouTube I have one other nail polish brand I think to show to you guys this is an indie brand and they are called um huella i hope i'm pronouncing that right huella isn't the packaging absolutely gorgeous beautiful bottles and i rarely talk about uh indie brands on my youtube channel but i'm going to start talking about indie brands more because i am in love with several of them they're doing a great job when i say indie brands i'm meaning independent brands i'm going to be bringing those to you guys very shortly also a purchase that i made myself was some nail glue uh, these came from amazon and they're 12 pieces it was a very good purchase i think for nail glue i think i might have spent seven dollars or something and there's uh like 12 different little tubes of glue in there and they had very good reviews so i had a nail break the other day and usually i would kind of just you know fix it up a little bit with the tea bag method or something like that but this this was too far going but right now you cannot tell any of these nails are broken they all are looking about the same height and everything but one of these little nails is not real so I took some nails from Amazon here they are right here like I said if I can find links for everything that I've done I have it down below and I used a little nail glue and I used a little filing and everything and it looks just like one of my nails so I did a pretty good job I was kind of afraid to record that because I said what if I mess up I mean it broke really far down below the net it was a one of those breaks that hurt so I said I need a falsy to continue my work so I had to do what I had to do okay so I'm going to like I said link everything down below that I can remember and find and also i'm going to be trying out poly gel so i bought a poly gel kit from amazon as well gonna be trying this on my daughters uh, one of my daughters is a nail biter so i was just thinking that maybe if i put a falsy on her hand then maybe she may not bite i'm hoping that's the case she's sitting in here right now I'm hoping that's the case so whenever I do this because this will be my first try at it and I feel like in a situation like this I know with the nail glue situation I said I didn't want to record it because I didn't want to like mess up but with this I feel like this can really teach somebody everybody fails once at something so if I try it and it doesn't turn out right the first or second time it's okay you just keep on trying until you get it right so I hope that it can help other people I'm definitely going to record it who knows I might get it right the first time who knows but 
I bought this, my own money, I want to give it a try. It had great reviews on Amazon, it had great reviews on YouTube. Uh, it's from the company Model Ones. I have reviewed some things from their company before, but just never a poly gel, uh, poly nail extension gel kit. Okay, so I want to give that a try. I saw people doing it, I feel like it should be easy, should be, it should be self-explanatory. So I'm going to give it a go. All right, um, I think this will be my last nail or hand product to share with you guys. We went to um, Bath and Body Works recently and the lady, uh, I used some coupons and she was like, oh, you just need a few more dollars to uh, use this coupon. Just pick out like a travel size something. And she said, try out this hand cream. It's very, very good. A lot of people like it. And it says uh, paraffin hand nail and cuticle hand cream. Guys, this is really, really, really good. When you put it on, I'm gonna put some on right now because I feel like I could be ashy, I don't know. So when you put it on, it's a nice thick formula. It has a medicinal scent to it. It's not the best scent. But when you put it on your hands, it is so smooth and soft. It feels like it coats your hand with something. I don't know. I make sure I rub it all into the cuticle area. I make sure I run it all over the tips of my fingers. Um, I keep it close to the bed at night along with some cuticle oil. And I'm layering like creams and oil just like I do on my hair. Sorry, my camera just stopped, but where I was with this was I, I'm using these things like cuticle oil, hand cream, stuff like that. I'm using this just like I use hair products. I'm layering. I'll put oil on my cuticles or whatever. I'll do serum because it's a few brands like Zoya and um, I have another hand serum from, oh, what's the name of that company? And I had some products from here right here oh i can't think of their names right now uh spiritual spiritual they're an indie brand they have a great hand um uh what is it called a hand hand serum so i'm layering it on my hands and i'm i'm seeing a difference i'm seeing a difference in the texture and everything of the skin of my hands my hands are much softer, especially the hand that I swatch with. I really take care of this hand. This hand, I'm right-handed, so this hand gets all of the fighting and the, the you know, the stress and the aggravation. And when I want to bite a nail, this is the hand I use. Uh, when I'm washing dishes, I don't really protect this hand as much. And I feel really bad about that, but I'm going to get it together. But I'm noticing a difference. You could even see since I just lotioned my hand and it's not super greasy or anything but it looks so nourished you understand what I'm saying and it feels that way it really does so you don't have to feel bad about putting this on at night and going to bed with it on because it doesn't feel super oily or strange you know I hope you understand what I'm saying it doesn't like you can sleep with this on and you don't feel bad Okay, so I've been layering things and my hands are coming back to life. This hand, like I said, I don't protect my right hand as much. And you can see just some dryness and some wrinkle, just uh, some texture going on here. Like extra dry skin. I can feel it between my fingers. It doesn't feel as soft as this hand. So I'm really working on this hand. I'm really working on this hand and I'm going to start wearing my gloves more often on this hand. Okay, so I think that that is it. Again, that is paraffin. It's from Bath and Body Works. It's worth it. It's a really, really good hand cream. All right, friends, the items that I have the most of is hair products. And I had to do this because if you were watching my... Um, video i forgot what i titled it but i'll put like a screenshot of it right here i was basically just going through the whole closet throwing things away things that were expired i knew they were expired i hadn't used them half of them or i only used half and i forgot about it so i had to re-up on everything a lot of stuff went in the trash uh for the from the hair closet 
And you guys know it's a lot of hair in this house. So I could not be without shampoos and conditioners. Let me tell you something, guys. With all this hair in the house, I might have had half a bottle of deep conditioner. That's like terrible. That's really, really bad. So I had to purchase, okay? So all of this, I think, yeah, I think just about every single item here came from Amazon. All right, so we're gonna start off with something that you can actually get from the dollar store. This is Salon Selectives Instant Repair. This is their leave-in conditioner. I have seen it a 100 times in the dollar store. Should've went to the dollar store and got, got it this time, but I know my luck. I, I see it all the time, never pick it up, and then when I go to look for it, it's not there. So this is Salon Selectives. Let me go ahead and rip the plastic open just so you guys can see it better, because I don't know if it's a glare. But people say this is an excellent leave-in conditioner. I believe I may have tried this maybe two years ago, maybe. I feel like I did, I can't remember. But in any case, Lots of people say this is excellent. It says hydrates and shines. It's a leave-in conditioner. It's made with Brazilian keratin oil. A lot of people who are low porosity are talking about this. So my daughter Nadia is low porosity. I decided to buy it. She's the person in the house with the most hair, the thickest hair. So I got two. So we're going to give it a try for her. Also, um, I bought some oil for her. I, I was running out of all of my organic oils and stuff, and I usually keep that type of stuff in the closet. I usually keep it just to mix in with like uh, cheaper uh, conditioners. Like if you just wanna add a little bit of power to a cheaper conditioner, um, you could just put a little oil in there and put them underneath the dryer, you know, the uh, sit under hair dryer. I have a little lazy daisy hair dryer where the kids could just sit um, and put it on their head and lean back and relax and watch TV. And I just decided to ba basically go back to our basics because when I first started doing natural hair with my kids on this channel, that was about 10 years ago when I went natural. Um, it will be 11 years this December. Um, and I had been using organic oils and just regular conditioners and I would mix my little stuff together and put it on my hair and my hair was flourishing and lately I've just you know you guys know I have my little playlist called lazy natural and that's what I became a lazy natural but lately I just say you know I'm gonna give it one more college try I'm gonna push a little bit more and start mixing up my items again going for the cheaper items and mixing them up like I used to do uh, because I don't see a problem with it so I'm spending so much money on all these big brands and I'm not seeing such a huge difference if you understand what I'm saying so that's why I said I'm just going back to what I used to do but anyway so this is 100% sweet almond oil and this is from the company now solutions they have all types of oils so I have that also this almond oil is supposed to be great for low porosity as well I also have uh, a lot of people ask me what castor oil am I using right now. This is the black Jamaican castor oil from Tropic Isle. And this is their lavender scent. Is it really killing that black Jamaican castor oil odor? Not really. Not really. You can't really get rid of that odor. But it's better than just the regular one, I guess. Yeah, you can smell a little lavender in there. It's, it's not too bad. But anyway... That's what it looks like, and I've had this bottle. I just wanted to show you guys. I pour this into my uh, Blue Magic's grease, and I mix it up with a little plastic spoon or fork, and I apply it right to the scalp. So that's what I do. A lot of people were asking, what even in Instagram, all these other places, my family blog channel, people always ask me, how do I use it? Which brand do I use? I didn't use this brand before, there's a, a store nearby me that sells Jamaican black casserole, but they haven't been able to get their shipments in in some months now since COVID. So, uh, 
I've been using that. I don't see where, you know, anything is wrong with that, but I would really like to go back to my, so if you're watching, if my, if that store is watching, cause they do watch my videos, please call me when you guys get the black Jamaican castor oil back in stock. Okay. I also got some kinky curly, not today. This is an oldie, but a goodie. I have used this time and time again on this channel since, Ooh, 2012, 13, something like that. This I've been using forever, so I know it works. It definitely works for me and my daughter, Gabby, who are high porosity, so I love it. It also works for Nadia as well. I can't say it didn't work for her, but it really works great for me. If I want to detangle, I can use this. If I want to use this after I wash as a leave-in conditioner, the way you're supposed to use it, I can use this. It's great on my hair. All right, I also have the Apogee Curlific uh, Texture Treatment. You're supposed to put this on your hair after you wash and everything. You're supposed to put this on your hair for about a minute and then rinse with warm water. I think that's what it says. Now, I've used the Apogee Treatment. Oh, what is it called? If I can't remember, I'll put it here in the video. I've used that before and I didn't see an issue and nothing bad happened or anything like that but I saw a lot of people talking about this and it seems a little easier and quicker you know something like we, we could just do right in the shower boom 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 rinse it out and we got uh, better elasticity it repairs damaged curls coils and waves that's what it says so I got two bottles of that all right that's what it is the other one um, you put on the hair, you're supposed to leave it on and let the hair kind of get crunchy and then you're supposed to rinse it out. And I just felt like this was quicker. The next products I want to show you guys are from Suave. This is Suave Tropical Coconut. Coconut works great in Nadia's hair. So I got her plenty of conditioner and I can also use these as deep conditioners if I want to if adding in my oils and everything I can definitely use this as a deep conditioner mix in what I need to mix in put her underneath the dryer and it wasn't so expensive I mean sometimes some of these deep conditioners can go for 20 28 30 dollars I'm like oh my god I was in the store the other day really pondering on whether I should buy Olaplex I, I see so many people talking about it and I say, you know what? I am not going to be sucked in by this. I, I, I'm just not. One day, you know, I might splurge. I'm not going to say it's a bad product. I've never tried it. But I, it's the money, oh my God. It's just like for one product and then it's so little. I, I don't know. I know they're saying like you don't need much, but it's so much hair in this house. I, I just can't, I can't wrap my head around spending that kind of money. So, I bought some of this. We're going to be using that for Nadia. This should last us a few months for her. All of us are going to be having wash day this week. So, it's going to be very interesting in here. All right. Also, I got some more chlorine. This is a detoxing, uh, anti-pollution uh, shampoo. So, let me get up nice and close. It is clarifying. When I tell you guys your hair will be squeaky clean, your scalp will be squeaky clean. That's if you want squeaky clean. Don't say Val told you to go out there and buy this. Okay, Val did not tell you that. Val said if you want squeaky clean, like if you're getting ready to do a really bomb silk press and you want to get all of that oil and everything else that you all that built up product out of your hair, this is it this stuff gets your head squeaky clean and then you can go into you know the pressing and everything and i mean your hair is going to be like moving it, it cleans your scalp and your hair very very well squeaky clean if you don't want that don't buy that val did not tell you to go and buy don't y'all don't leave me no comments i did not tell you to go buy this i said if you want squeaky clean so it's excellent for that and it gives you a nice little pepperminty cool feeling on your head uh, while you're in the shower. It feels very, very good and your hair smells very nice. And they have a whole line of products for different reasons, but I love this one for really clarifying and cleaning my hair when I want to wear it straight. Sometimes I won't put anything on my scalp for a while. I'll just wash it with that. 
uh, blow dry. I'll press it out really good with like the silk infusions, the chi. I'll press it and my hair is moving. Like you can uh, hot curl your hair and your hair is moving, honey. Moving with the wind, moving. So I love it for that. All right, moving on. I have the Obaya Naturals. I heard someone talking about this and I said, okay, I'll give that a try for Nadia as a deep conditioner. This is Babasu Deep Conditioner. So I'm gonna give that a try too. And they had it on sale, so I said I'll give it a go. They also have the expiration date on the back and I like that. Cause I don't know when, uh, you know, some things expire. I know it says 12 months, but when you forgot when you bought it, that really don't help you, huh? All right, so moving on, I got even more Suave. Okay, so a box full of Suave. Because like I said, I cannot be without shampoo. And I looked inside of that cabinet, we only had half a container. It, and the container was about this big, y'all. Half of this with deep conditioner in it for four heads, my mother included. Then on top of that, I only had half of a bottle of this as a shampoo. And I might have had a little bit of um, Curacare in there. And that wasn't nearly enough. So I told my hubby, I got to buy some shampoo. So I went to my, the Suave has always been one of my faves go-to products when I'm looking for cheap and it does the job. I might have to add in my little oils and everything, but it does the job. This one is an aloe and water lily and it smells so good. It says long lasting fragrance and it is. This smells so, 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 so good. So good. Look at that. And it's a lot, so I won't be running out of shampoo anytime soon. And lastly, for the hair products, I bought myself my Dark and Lovely once again. You guys saw me use this. This is in 372 Black. Memorize her. Look at the lady on the front. That's the color you want. A lot of people were asking me what color was it, what's the number on there. There she is. Screenshot it. There she is. Friends, moving on to clothing. All right, I went on a rainbow haul uh, right online. I saw that rainbow was having a sale. It popped up possibly on Instagram or somewhere while I was watching. And they had nice sales on like regular t-shirts and stuff. And I like long t-shirts that cover up my caboose, you know. So I saw a few colors that I don't have in my wardrobe, like yellow, you know, springtime, summertime coming. So I got regular tanks that are nice and long that cover up and I love V-neck. So I have a nice little V-neck uh, tank short sleeve. This is in, uh, well, they have the women's plus size, I think. Oh, I got these in 3X. Everything you're gonna see I got in 3X and these were seven bucks. Um, and let me see, it was a little bit of a sale. I think the regular price of these were like $12 or something and I got them for $6 and 42 cents a piece. So there you go. And if the sale is still up, I'll definitely link it. So I got it in yellow. Of course I got it in white. And these are great just to throw on with some shorts. Uh, we might be going to Disney soon. I could throw these on with some jean shorts or some tights and I'm good to go. I got it in heather gray. So very nice. And they had it in lots and lots of colors. These were just the colors that were left over in my side. And last but not least, I got it in red. So a beautiful, vibrant red. And you can't beat that 642 for a V-neck tee. It feels nice and stretchy, guys. There's lots of stretch breathable material I love it and you know for the price like I said you can repurchase these you can buy two three four five of these okay I also got um, some products from the Gap uh, some products are in my room right now and I had already taken them out of the plastic because I wore uh, one of the shirts they were v-neck no sleeve same concept just 
no sleeve so just imagine that and i got them for a very good deal i think yeah and they may still have that sale going on i think they were about five dollars a piece i got them and i got three black shirts because my black shirts fade and stuff like that so i decided to get three black you can wear them on the inside of some uh, blazers or you can wear it on the inside of a jacket or something like that i thought it was very cute you could wear it with a nice little skirt and i got three white shirts so I just wanted to mention that it's not in this bag. It's in my room. I should have kept it in the bag, but I wanted to wear one of the shirts the other day. But um, the Gap, I cannot remember. I know it can't be more. I think I might have gotten these dresses for eight bucks, maybe eight. So that's awesome. Let me show you guys. These are just like t-shirt dresses. I got these in a 2X. You know they have their plus size line now. And I just wanted to show, show you. Let me stand up and show you. So hopefully you guys can see that. You see the three tier or two tier rather. Two tier dress. I got it in yellow. Very, very cute. And I know my lightness messing up. Y'all let me know. If y'all want to see me model these, I can model them. So I think that's super cute just to throw on. You can wear some like cats or something with that and walk around getting some breeze, you know. And I also got it in pink. And you know, like I said, the pricing, it couldn't be, have been more than 10 bucks. I, I truly believe because I, I don't see the... I don't see the receipt in this bag. I might have thrown it away. But anyway, I know they weren't more than $10. They were going like that. Like, just like I pressed the refresh button on my computer, some colors were gone just that quick. I got it in pink as well. Same exact dress, but in pink. So, super cute for the spring and for the summer. You cannot beat that cute little sandals you know paint your toes and you do your thing and i think they're so cute also so hard for me to find a plus size jean jacket and gap had me okay so i found one awesome jean jacket oh i'm just so happy i made that purchase regular price for this jean jacket y'all guess before i tell you how much you think it, this jacket was guess fifty dollars higher $70. Yeah, exactly. Oh. 70 It was 69 bucks. $69. Guess how much I got it for? Uh, 20 A little higher. 35 30 <gasps> I got it for 30 So that's awesome. They had the half off sale. And I got this jean jacket for 30 and some change. But guys, it fits perfectly. I am so happy to have a nice little denim jacket that fits and I can actually button it up and do it. You know, because sometimes you'll buy a jean jacket and if you're heavy busted, you um, can't button it or whatever. So you just have to wear it open. But this is a 3X. Now it's a little long because I'm a shorty. It's a little long on my arms or whatever. I'm a shorty. But i am loving the fact that i found this jacket and i got it for half off so i'm winning i am winning right now and i'm feeling very very good about that so i have one more thing to show you and that is from coach so actually two purses from coach give me one second to get these purses down all right guys so i got uh two purses one for valentine's day one for christmas never showed them never used them never wore the purses yet so here's the first one and as you can see, everything is covered up. But I will tell you the color my hubby chose is called Sport Blue. I believe that's what they're calling it. Am I right? Yeah, Sport Blue. And this is the penny. And the regular retail value of this purse is $460. I know he knows that I love to shop on the Coach Outlet site, so that's possibly where he got it from. But as you can see, you have your Coach logo right there. It's a nice soft pebble leather. It matches my nails today, or at least one hand. On the back, you have a nice little zipper here. 
nice deep pocket. Looks like I could fit a phone down in there if I want to or some other items. It's pretty deep. So I'm just going to remove some of the uh, plastic so I can do this for you guys. I wasn't going to include this in the haul, but I said, when am I going to get to this? So I'm going to go ahead and, and remove it. Okay, so again, it's called the Penny. I'm looking at the little tag here. It's called the Penny. I'll have the exact name here in the video. And it's a pretty deep purse. Very, very, very deep. You have um, one zipper pocket here inside. I hope you guys can see that from there. Yeah, you got one zipper pocket right here inside. And I think that's it. No more pockets inside, just that big open space. And then you have two pockets on the outside. And they have a nice little closure. Okay, so this is the shorter strap, and like I said, you can just hold it like that. So, so you can see how it looks just like that, and it is definitely mid-thigh. I don't have anybody really to work my camera. The girls are playing a game right now. So it's like hitting me at uh, mid-thigh because it is a big purse. So if you want to carry it like that, you can. And we also have the longer strap here, and the longer strap is still adjustable. So you have the little belt here with the, you know, the little holes here. So you can still adjust it. So let me show you that. Okay. And you can still bring it up a little. So pretty cool. All right, guys. So I don't know if I would have chosen this blue for myself. But in a way, I'm very glad he did. I would have not chosen it. I, I, I'll be honest. I don't think I would have chosen it for myself. But guys, remember when we were talking about purses a while back, another purse video, and I was telling you guys that I was trying to get out of the black and the brown blues, okay? I always pick browns and blacks, and I try to keep it safe with the neutral tones. So my husband just said, bam, blue. Here you go. And now I'm saying, okay, I have no choice but to wear. It's a very pretty purse. It really is. So I'm thinking some nice jeans, a nice white tee, my Nikes, or some cute sandal heels that might match this, and I'm good to go. And the girls are sitting here laughing. I'm good to go. I'm good to go. And here is the other purse. And I think that this is absolutely adorable. This is so cute. And of course, I would think that because it's more of a neutral tone, guys. That's why I think it's so cute. So let me take all of the wrapping and everything off. I have taken all of the plastic off. And this is called the Light Khaki Wine Multicolored uh, Dempsey Tote. Yeah. Signature Jaguar Dempsey Tote in 22 inch i think i could be wrong but i think this i know this is the smaller one i know they have a larger one i've been seeing all over social media this is the smaller one it is absolutely adorable first of all you have your little feet to keep your khaki color clean and you can definitely wear it right there on your arm like that super cute i like the fact that it has the coach logo right here on the front so cute the gold detail is very very nice and on the inside you have one pocket right there at the top there and then you have one zip it's a zip right there you also have the coach logo in there I don't want to bend it up too much you can also snap the purse closed on the inside you see the snap right here functional snap so very cute it says that the uh, retail value of this was 350 again I know my hubby uh, knows that I go on the coach outlet site now I have bought some coaches directly from the main site before but i know he possibly got this from the outlet because i let him know if i tell if i tell him i get it from the outlet then i'll get more 
If I tell them to go to the regular site, then I'll get less. So I tell them to go to the outlet. But anyway, super cute purse. It also came with the adjustable strap, so I can put that on for you. So there's your adjustable strap. You have all your little holes there, and you can shorten it or whatever. So this is what it looks like. It's hit me right on my hip. It's super cute. It's cute. Now you know what I'm thinking in my head right now. Like I, I'm automatically thinking, oh, I wish it was all brown, like a deeper brown, and, or I wish it was all black with like a cute little, you know, color here in the center. But I have to get out of that. I really need to get out of the all black, all brown purse thing. So I appreciate him purchasing this for me. Also, uh, a few videos ago, I showed you guys that I bought the Coach sandals in the khaki shade. And I was trying to find more purses to match those sandals. So this is one. And I also have another Coach uh, from last spring that has the little butterflies on. No, it's flowers, like yellow flowers. And then I bought the yellow dress from The Gap. So I got a whole little outfit going right there. So whenever I put that all together, I'll definitely do a, do an outfit on a day or do like a picture on Instagram so you can see what it all looks like put together. And that is it. Whew, so that is it. I do have some other items from nail polish companies, things like that. But these are items that came through PR that are not launched yet. And the company said, you know, please don't share until a certain date. So I cannot share those things with you as of yet. But I will be sharing with you guys some more indie nail polish brands. I have so many behind me. All Like this whole wall is all indie brands on this side so i definitely have plenty to share with you guys hair day is coming up so you will be seeing some of this stuff in use very soon um i'm using the microphone for the uh camera right now so you guys can hear me nice and crisply so you know it's a great microphone and i'm loving it so I will talk to you guys in the next video. If you made it this far, I love you, love you, love you. Please remember to subscribe to the channel, click that like button, share my videos with other beauty enthusiasts out there, and I will really, really, really appreciate it. I will talk to you guys in the next one. Cyber kisses. <laughs> bye. Say bye, girls. Bye. Bye.